Hi everyone, uh, in today's video we are going to see how we can uh, post files as well as model to the web API. So as you can see uh, I'm using the home controller and uh, I have an action written uh, which will uh, simulate the behavior of post. So uh, in order to do a post uh, with a file uh, we need to add some keywords to it. So let's just uh, see what our view have. So post with file, this is my view. So it's auto generated tag all over here. But the thing is, uh, what we need to do is this change. So we need to define uh, this type multipath form data so that uh, MVC controller can understand that uh, we are posting something which will include file as well as form data. So we need to do that and we are posting it back to our uh, post with file which has a which has a uh, post type of verb so one thing i have changed in here is uh, i have add uh, input file as well so that we can uh, select any file and post it to our service so let's just uh, continue on that So we have this, uh, it's a basic uh, file upload model. So I can uh, put it some integer value and then description value and we can choose a file from it. I'm using PNG for now. And let's just uh, post it using a create. So if you can see, uh, we are getting a model inside there and for uh, getting a file, uh, we can have it uh, inside this uh, request file count so it's saying that it's one so our file is uh, get uh, from that uh, request object so we can just uh, uh, get our file from our zeroth index so here we have that file so we can check it whether it's actual file or not and then uh, we are uh, getting a file name and then the path so path will be like uh, where I will be saving this file and then this statement will going to save our file. So uh, I'm, I will be uploading uh, that file to this uh, API uh, endpoint. So if we go to that thing, bulk upload file, uh, this is the API point. If you can see, uh, we are not having any uh, parameter inside that. So Web API uh, doesn't support uh, uh, file uploading as well as uh, model binding at the same time. So we need to do a hack in order to post uh, both the things like data and file from it. That's why it's, it will not be there. So let's uh, get back. So it's a very basic call which we have been doing that and uh, we are doing a post call in here and then header and uh, this is very interesting in here uh, before that uh, when we wants to do a post uh, we were uh, passing it as a parameter type of body parameter right but body parameter doesn't support with the multi-part form data when we talk about the web api so mvc it's supported but when we need to uh, access our web api uh, it doesn't support it so we need to pass it as a parameter so i'm doing that model and I'm converted to a JSON string on my model. So we can access it by using this name. And then we are uh, telling that uh, header to be multi-part form data because a file going to be also in the request object. So we need to define that. And then in this call, we are just adding a file from this path, which we have uh, just saved to. And then the result. And in order to uh, post a file to the web api we need to make some changes in the web api config so by default uh, web api doesn't support multi-part form data so we need to add this statement uh, before uh, starting it so i have already added that so it will now start supporting it so this is the main line which will actually going to get executed so as you can see uh, we get here bulk upload file we don't have any parameter so I'm getting a request from it, right? HTTP contact dot current. This is how you can get a request from web API. 
and inside that uh, I'm just doing a deserialization uh, from the parameter so we can uh, we already know that uh, we already know that uh, we can do in here this thing I don't know what error is we are getting so uh, this is where we are getting that JSON string and I'm converting it back to the file upload model so if you can see it should have uh, data in a serialized mode yeah I have paused the video uh, my debugging st uh, just stopped working so I have uh, put it back again and follow the same step so as we can see uh, we get in here Okay, so I'm back again. Uh, there was some problem going on with the uh, debugging. So as we can see, uh, we are uh, getting model from it. So uh, we are now getting the whole model by using uh, this request parameter. So we are getting a parameter from it. And if you can see, uh, it's showing the one count. So our file is also get posted. So then we can uh, do manipulation, whatever we want with it. And then uh, we can just uh, get back uh, all the things which we need and that is the result so that's how you can uh, call a web api with file and uh, model uh, to get working with our form so that's how you uh, use rest sharp to post a file with model using rest sharp so thanks for watching have a nice day